What's up, everybody? This is Sean. We are with Strange Land Oddities at Days of the Dead Atlanta. We are here with Eugene Clark, who is known as Big Daddy from George Romero's Land of the Dead. How are you doing today, Eugene? I'm all right. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing pretty good. Is this your first Days of the Dead? No, I've done a couple. You've done a couple of them? Yes. So, when you became the role as Big Daddy and Land of the Dead, did you think that you would become like the iconic zombie for that movie? No. No? I, I had no idea. Now, being a zombie, you know, learning and doing, um, you know, learning with the guns, learning how to go after the humans, was that hard transition to do as, as far as being in character? Yeah, of course, you had to communicate without, without talking. And you had to show a range of emotion. So, and it was freezing up in Canada, in Toronto. It was cold, real cold. Some of the scenes, the water scene, I, I didn't have to act at all. I was mad, because it was cold. I was mad. Every muscle in my body was jumping. We shot all night long. I was not happy. I think Big Daddy was there for real. <laughs> yeah, you you definitely uh, stood out in that. Sorry, I just sorry about that. that uh, I'm okay, folks. Sorry. I'm okay. Oh, sorry. I'm even wrapped around him. So, how was it working with the great George Romero? Do you have any George Romero stories that you'd like to share? Well, no stories, but um, George is awesome. Great guy, perfect gentleman, extremely generous. Um, gave you a chance to, to improv, to co-create, and if he liked it, he kept it, if he didn't, you know. But um, just an amazing, amazing man. And it's sad that he's gone so soon. Exactly. I, had, I just got done doing the Walker Stalker Cruise with all the Walking oh, Dead nice. cast. How so was that? It was uh, pretty, pretty damn nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we went from New Orleans to uh, Cozumel. Mm -hmm. And I ended up doing my excursion with uh, Sean Clark, who's Norman Reedus' manager, right. Jeff, Jeffrey Dean's manager, John Berntel's manager, and then Tate Steinsek. Um, Who's the special effects guy? He was he was on Face Off, and um, he just did the Amazing Spider-Man. He's doing a movie with Robert Hall. Um, everybody there was really nice. Um, I was surprised that when they did the Walker Stalker Atlanta, that they didn't bring you in there as far as wanting, uh, you know, being the whole zombie thing. I mean, they brought for the, for the convention for the convention. I was at another convention. You, I, I've done about um, five of those. Five I'm walkers? I guess it's five. Um, but I was in uh, Rakula. You talking about this last year? Yeah. Yeah, I was in Rakula. Rakula. Or Rakula Rock, in, in um, Texas. Yeah. But, but you never know if it's Walker Stalker. I'm usually there somewhere. Yeah, so you never know. You understand? It's, oh, yeah. Look for Big Daddy. If it's Walker Stalker, look for me. You definitely need to uh, watch out for Big Daddy. I mean, not be advertised, but you'll find me. That's all I got to say, baby. He's everywhere. I'm serious, too. I'm, like, I'm serious with a heart attack. <laughs> Most of the time, Walker Stalker Nashville, look for me. Walker Stalker Orlando, look for me. Walker Stalker, where else we going? Tennessee, look for me. Walker Stalker, just look for the brother. I'm going to probably be there. All right, nice. Now, um, you got a new movie out that's called Recall. Um, can you give a little background about that? Well, the only background I can give about that is um, it was done by a young, young writer, actor, producer. Uh, it started off as a short, and then he decided to make it into a, uh, a full-length movie. Just a bunch of bad guys doing some bad things. I happen to be one of the bad guys. <laughs> little brothers, little Italians, little white boys, little bang bang shoot them up. That's all I can tell you, man. Can't tell you no more, I have to hurt you. <laughs> um, I'm sure the trailer, the trailer might, they may have a trailer, but check out the trailer. 
Yeah, definitely. Check out the trailer for Recall 2018. Now, when you first started out back in 85-89 uh, to 89 doing Night Heat as Detective Colby Burns, yes. did, did you ever you know, fathom that you would go from that type of role to a Big Daddy role? No, man. Listen, as actors, most of us just no. <laughs> had no idea. I mean, people will come to me and say, have you done anything else other than Big Daddy and Land of the Dead? And I smile. <laughs> Go to imdb.com, type in my name. I have about 123, 24 different kind of productions I've been on. But this is the one that stick. I'm happy. I'm happy. But no, I had no idea. Um, none whatsoever. In fact, there was a time I used to turn scary stuff down. Right. Like, no, I don't want to do that. Do you think that there should be a kind of spin-off on the, as far as Land of the Dead with Big Daddy? Well, you know what? A lot of fans tell me that they want they want to know where did we go? Because you know we left. Where did we go? So, yeah, I was gonna say something else, but I shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Now some people, some people say. And this is them saying, not me saying it. They say, we want to see Big Daddy on The Walking Dead. And I say, I don't think Big Daddy <laughs> can be on The Walking Dead as Big Daddy. Now, Because Rick would be dead in a minute. <laughs> well, I thought, well, okay, if Big Daddy or someone similar that I could play, it don't have to be Big Daddy, was on the show. I think every now and then he should mess with Jeffrey, De Mr. Dean. <laughs> Mr. Dean, Jeffrey okay. Dean Morgan. Yeah, so what he should do is every now and then, so he should track the bad guys. And when the bad guys are trying to get Rick and everything, all of a sudden he shows up, whips his ass, but don't kill him. <laughs> and every now and then when he's doing some really heinous stuff, just, but don't kill him. That's all I gotta so, say. So bringing Big Daddy in, first person you're going for is Negan. Just any bad guy who's going to the extreme too much, but you can't kill my character now. If you're gonna kill my character, just don't don't even don't even bother. Unless there's a nice arc. If there's a nice arc, you can bother. So no killing Daryl, keeping Rick alive. Oh, you, you got to keep them alive. There's no more show. What's wrong with you, <laughs> fool? Are you crazy? You know, you know. No, you can't you can't keep him alive. Or you can do like what's his name? Uh, you know, uh, what's her name? Um, the lady who I, I can I can't say it, Michonne. Michonne. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or oh, they could have big. They can have my character, like as a. No, I won't say pet. <laughs> but as a defender against some other zombies. But it, it probably can't be Big Daddy. I don't know if Universal will allow that. Yeah, because it's linked with yeah. George Romero. But it could be an intelligent zombie. So everybody out there in social media land, if you think that Big Daddy should be on The Walking Dead, I'd say we'd contact Robert Kirkman. You can find him on Twitter. You can find Donald Trump on Twitter, too. <laughs> All right, so we, we definitely appreciate this interview, Eugene. Um, it's been great. Um, this is Sean. I'm with Strangeland Oddities. We are at Days of the Dead, Atlanta, 2018. Any last words? <laughs>